became a part of this family. Brandon was just finishing his final year of college. Needless to say why I call him baby brother. I've watched him grow into a reliable, confident and humble young man who is seated here today looking as dashing as ever. I must say, Sharon brings out the best in you. Brandon, standing here today, I'm a little bit nervous, you can hear, but standing here today, Boyki, I can only give you the advice that life has taught me. And you've stood beside us through some of the most challenging times in our lives. For this, Sean, myself, Marcus and Lorraine want to say thank you today. And we are very grateful for you. As you and Sharon start this new chapter together, I want you to remember Matthew 6 verses 33. And it says to us, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all things will be added to you. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, and he will see you through everything. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It's a sacrament in our church, which makes it pure and holy. Embrace it. it. It's also hard work. Work together at it. Push each other. Motivate each other. And be each other's greatest fans. Laugh together every chance you get. Laugh at each other as well. Make memories. Pray together. Respect each other and each other's differences. Appreciate each other. And when life gets busy, and it will, stop. Stop and take time out for each other. Above all, cherish each other and love each other. Everything else will follow. We love you and we will always be here for you. And we just wish you everything of the best. Thank you. I'm here to talk about a very, very special girl in my life. And I'm emotional about it because I'm still digesting what has happened today but I couldn't be more prouder as a sister. I just could not be more proud of a sister of my Sharon today. I'm Prinella, there's a nine year gap between us and there's a standing joke that she actually disrupted my life and she invaded my life after nine years. But to be honest with you, I would not have it any other way. Brandon, you've, you've taken a part of my heart with you and I expect you and I demand of you that you take care of it as much as I have taken care of her. All I want to tell the two of you, what God ordains, God sustains. Remember that. And just remember by His might and by His will that you will prosper. and will be more children to come to celebrate. And Brandon, there's always a space for me in your house. Remember that. I'm upstairs, you're downstairs, as always. I want to thank you for your attention. And I also want to thank you again for your attendance. And I wish you well for this evening. Thank you. Sharon and I go way back. In fact, we literally go all the way back to the sandbox. And I'm proud to say we have been friends ever since. Our childhood was one filled with very fond memories together. Sharon has been my playmate, adversary, confidant, and best friend. All of my best memories have her in them. From road trips to school excursions and busting out the dance moves at our family get-togethers, we shared them all. Brandon, this is the part where I'm supposed to welcome you into the family. But the truth is, you have always been a part of the family since the day we met you. To Sharon and Brandon, may your love be more than enough to survive the times and old-fashioned enough to last forever. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. May you share everything together, including the housework and As you both sit side by side through this roller coaster of life, remember to scream through the peaks hold hands to the dips, laugh through the loops, and enjoy every twist and turn. For the ride is better because we will share it together. Love isn't perfect, it isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. But no matter what people have told you about marriage, go into yours with an open mind and an open heart. I do have to say though, Brandon, just how lucky you are. You will leave here today with a wife who is warm, caring, and loving. And Sharon, you leave here today having gained a beautiful wedding day and a lovely bouquet of flowers. Oh, and Brandon, of course. May your love burn bright for years to come. Here's to my best friend and her new best friend. 
to love, laughter and happy new year. Thank you. Finally, on behalf of my family and myself, I extend our best wishes to both of you and may the blessings you receive this morning remain with you all the days and decades of your life. Once again, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Francis.